Once upon a time, Kawasaki muscle bikes used to strut along the street kicking sand in the eyes of lesser machines. Starting with the original Z1, Big Zs ruled the performance roost through much of the 70s and 80s with bikes like the original GP Z1100 and Lawson Replica 1000R. Well, if you missed those bikes the first time around, welcome back to the future. Kawasaki's ZRX1100 isn't an old-fashioned bike, quite the contrary. It's a thoroughly modern bike in every respect. But the big K have had the nous to take a long hard look through their own back catalogue and shamelessly take some styling cues from their previous icons. If you're looking for modern street muscle which evokes the ghosts of GPZ's past, this bike's for you. The engine of course is a DOHC4 in the best Z tradition and was originally developed for the ZZR 1100. It's powerful and tractable and comes from a long and distinguished line. It should be bulletproof too. The bike is beautifully put together and the styling captures just the right balance between old and new. I have many fond memories of the original Z1s and GPZs and this bike really does capture the spirit of its ancestry. And there's certainly nothing old fashioned about the way this big Z pulls. A claimed 120 brake horsepower launches the bike forward in the best muscle bike tradition, while state of the art suspension and deep brace swing arm holds the plot together with confidence. The 17 inch wheels wear big fat sticky rubber and massive discs with twin piston calipers haul it down from speed. And if you're looking for a mixture of performance and comfort, this bike gets the mix just right. The upright riding position is practical and comfortable, and that Lawson replica fairing dislodges the worst of the wind blast. I like this ZRX so much that I'd be very happy to make room for one in my garage was it not so overcrowded already. It combines everything you could possibly want in a motorcycle into one tidy package. Powerful and dependable motor, excellent suspension and brakes, good handling, fine looks and a nod at some real heritage. What more could you possibly want for under seven grand? So how does it score? For performance I have to give this bike nine out of ten. Its big grunty engine pulls like a train and just keeps pulling the more you ask of it. A bottomless pit of unbridled power on demand in the best Z tradition. Lovely. The running gear is up to the job too with excellent suspension and brakes and the whole package hangs together admirably. It's a comfortable bike too with a riding position designed to fit human beings. The pegs are high enough to give decent ground clearance and the seat will easily accommodate a rider and passenger. Even the grab handles are well thought out. Buy this bike and burn rubber all day. Nine for comfort. For reliability, I'll drop grudgingly to an eight out of ten. Winter Salt doesn't always agree with the finish on big Kawasaki's, and I've learnt to be very careful about washing the bike regularly and keeping it clean to preserve the finish. Wash it regularly, or weep. I have to score this bike highly for street cred too. It combines street presence with genuine performance and there's no question in the bike's heritage. If you thought Kawasaki used to rule the roost for big street bruisers, I have news. The king is back. 9 out of 10 for street cred.